In this video, we are going to discuss common network security term, which is assets, vulnerability, exploit, threat, attack, risk, and countermeasure. So assets is anything which the organization is invested is called asset, which is valuable to the organization. Example are properties, vehicles, heavy equipment, plants, building, employees, computer, data, intellectual property, tangible property, intangible property, it can be anything. And protecting the organization asset is the prime function of security. It may be a physical security or it may be a network security. So our main purpose as a security engineer to protect the assets of organization. So now we know what is assets. It can be building, vehicle, machinery, laptop, etc. Second terminology is vulnerability. Vulnerability can be defined a weaknesses in a system or its design. So when we design any application, so maybe there is any vulnerability, weaknesses. It can be in the system and it can be in the design. Every system is human created, so definitely chances for error, mistake are always there in every human created system. Definitely nothing is 100% secure. There can be vulnerability. Vulnerability are always there in application, network protocol and operating system. An attacker to gain access to organization, they are using these vulnerability to exploit them. Let me show you the website related to it is common vulnerability. I think so. If you go to this website, yeah, not this one. There is a vulnerability, common vulnerability. Vulnerability, I think so. Common vulnerability, yes, this one. This is the website. If you go to this website, so you can find all the vulnerabilities. You can search related the vulnerability, F5, Palo Alto, Checkpoint, all vulnerability. If there is anything, so it will show you all the vulnerability and their method of mitigation. You can find out here the latest information as well. So these are the detail. You can find all the vulnerability here as well. So now we know vulnerability, which is weaknesses in the system. Exploit basically means exploit can be defined a way, method or tool which is used by attacker on vulnerability to cause the damage to target network and system. They are using many method tools where to use those vulnerability and to damage the target network and system. So this exploit can be a software and it can be a method and it can be a tool to get the detail of the device to damage the target network and system. This is called exploit, the method, the tool, the software. Another terminology is Thread. Thread can be defined as anything danger to the assets. We discuss assets. So anything which is dangerous for our asset is called thread. And thread can be accidentally triggered or it can be intentionally exploited. They can use vulnerability, they can use weaknesses in the system and they cannot take. So threat can be anything, it can be hackers, it can be virus, it can be spyware, it can be keylogger, it can be lost data, it can be trojan, it can be a line, it can be offline, it can be physically, it can be virtually. They can use many methods and all these things are called threat for us, for our assets. Other terminology is Attack. Attack can be defined as action taken by attacker to harm the assets. It means attack is an action which attacker take to damage your assets, to damage your network, to damage your system is called attack. There are passive attack and there are many other attack. 
इट कैन बी डायरेक्ट अटैक एन कैन बी इन डायरेक्ट अटैक एन अदर टर्मिनोलॉजी इज रिस्क द टर्म रिस्क कैन बी डिफाइंड अ पोटेंशियल फॉर लॉस कंप्रोमाइज डेमेज डिस्ट्रेक्शन और अदर नेगेटिव कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एस इट इज कॉल रिस्क एंड नॉर्मली रिस्क अराइज फ्रॉम थ्रेड मल्टीपल थ्रेड एंड एक्सप्लॉयड वेन रेबिलिटी so it means risk is equal of assets thread and vulnerability another terminology is countermeasure countermeasure is basically an action which initiated by organization typically security professional to mitigate the threat so we already discussed threat so when you mitigate and you stop the threat it is called countermeasure so if we see this circle so we have assets vulnerability exploit threat attack risk and counter measure so it's a like a circle which is a continue process so it's not a one time job so security protection is not one time job you has to be all the time in and your competition is with hacker and attacker they will find the vulnerability and you need to protect your organization so it's a fight between you and attacker it's a fight between good guys and bad guys and it's all the time so it doesn't means that if you have a powerful firewall you have next generation firewall wof ips ids and point protection and you say that i'm secure so it's no you need to be alert all the time so you have assets which you need to protect but it he it been compromised by thread an attacker exploit the vulnerability and you are exposed to risk because you haven't take the measurement you haven't take the action before because there was risk involved suppose i give an example you are using telnet and your network so it's a risky you have a risk involved rather than to use a telnet you need to use ssh so that's why you need to take a counter measure to protect the telnet and tell your employees never use telnet and block telnet and your network so this is counter measure you protect your assets otherwise there will be another vulnerability and protocol and system and design which will be compromised to thread an attacker will use their twin ability and they will exploit and you are exposed to risk again this is a circle so these are the terminology which moving around and i hope so you get the idea about the security concept